Well, hello all, it's Terhi here and I'm playing today with new um, products from 13 Arts. We had this amazing release just a few weeks ago and we have so many gorgeous products now that I wanted to do a video while uh, making a layout just to make sure you all see how I do my background work with the new watercolor powders and um, everything new supplies so welcome to see this so the first layer is quite simple it's clear gesso to the white cardstock I'm using and when it's dry I'm adding some some water drops to the area I'm working on and then I'm adding this gorgeous new watercolor powders these are green and blue from the dual line and I'm adding just a small amount and I'm waiting and adding some small amount more and then something more and then something more because they are spreading all the time so I don't want to make it too dark at the same time so I'm adding just a small amount and then waiting and a small amount again and one, once I'm finished with the um, uh, once I'm finished with the area I'm working on, I can use this uh, leftover to the center because it doesn't matter if it gets quite dark in the center because I'm getting my photograph there, so it's going to leave behind there. But then I'm adding more water and water and water, and when it's uh, when I'm happy with my background, I can leave it dry and even when it's uh, drying, it will spread a little more. So that's why I'm not using a big amount at the same time. Um, the next phase is to add some texture on the background and I'm using gesso for this one. And I'm using the gesso instead of modeling paste because I want this uh, color to to spread a little more and by that I mean that this uh, gesso will kind of drink the color from the background while it's drying. The background is now completely dry and the gesso looks quite white at the moment but when we wait for a few hours it will be much much more blue. So that's kind of nice effect. You can do it by accident or in purpose and today I'm doing it with purpose. And while the gesso is uh, still wet, I added some glitter from also from the new collections uh, to the gesso and it will the gesso will work as a glue. And then I use the out of the blue collection papers to make this paper cluster and I use gel medium to adhere it and then I'm adding more of these glitter things on top. This was from the secret letters collections collection we had last fall but I the, thought this would match here perfectly and it does. So I'm adding all with gel medium because uh, while working with gel medium you can always move things around because it it dries quite a long time and that's why you have quite a long time to to work with the products you are making. Uh, I added some new inks, blue and green. These are splash inks, also from 30 knots. These also are from 30 knots and I thought to add them now before I'm adding the photo because it's quite easier that way. Um, then I'm again using my gel medium. I wanted to add a lot of flowers. For me a lot of flowers means these three flowers <laughs> but it's quite much for me. So I added them here and now I need my title. Uh, I'm using this nice little chipboard word and thought it needs to have something 
something special because this layout is so special with these new products and I'm so happy about it. So I decided to add a little chesso layer and then some mist layers on top and uh, I used a light blue mist but you can't see it on the video because I forgot to record it so <laughs> I'm very sorry about that but here you can see how it how it worked and and how I adhere it to the layout in the picture is my little family last summer and as you can see it's quite nice layout at least for me <laughs> because there are my loved ones on the picture so it was nice to um, record this and show you what to do with all the new products and i hope you like it we'll see you soon thank you for watching bye